Dear children, we have here from mathematics subject revision part 1. In this video, let's revise what we have studied from addition and subtraction chapter. So the first here you can see A main add the following. So this is a type of question paper pattern where you need to or practice solving the sums according to this pattern. So the add the following. In add the following you can see number 1, 2, 3, 4. Here the two digit addition. Here two digit with carry. Number 3, three digit plus one digit also and number two digit. And here uh, three digits. So three numbers. So, so we can see there are three numbers having the three digits. So you need to add these numbers. So exactly these questions may not come. So I may give this type of questions. From 1, 2, 3, 4. According to this pattern you will get different numbers. So you need to solve. Add the following. By addition and by carrying in the circle. So as you notice in number 4 I have not given the circles. So if the circles are not provided, you can draw the circles and you can solve the addition. Coming to word problems, that is B, we have word problems. Addition word problems from page 38. So I have given here solve only first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. As you have number of word problems from uh, addition word from nearly uh, many word problems you have to study. So I have reduced the number of questions to you. That is I have asked you to study only 6 questions from the 12 questions. So practice only 1st, 1, 2nd, 1, 3rd, 1, 4th and 5th and 6th. Only 6, six word problems you should practice. Coming to number C means it is subtraction. So in subtraction as you see the pattern here the two digit number three digit and a three digit with two digit and three digits with three digits. So here the subtractions are very simple in the first case and the second case. But when you come to three and four you need to draw a circle and you can should do carry over borrow. If you want to borrow, you need to draw the circles. So the circles will be provided to you. But you should remember that you need to draw the circles. And you need to complete the word problem. So here uh, subtraction problems are given. So the circles will be also provided. You no need to worry. So when you solve these sums, if there are no circles, you try to solve them properly. Next, I have D word problems from page 50. So even the subtraction word problems are also same. You need to practice only six word problems. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So practice only six word problems and try to solve the subtraction word problems properly. I hope so you have followed for today. Add the following. Then uh, word problems of addition, subtraction, uh, sums and the pattern how it comes to the exam. So the numbers may change and here at last we have the word problems. So word problems, so, much, uh, so from each you need to study only six word problems. Continuing with the addition chapter. From your page, uh, we have from page 20, uh, page number 26. So you need to find some of the uh, successors and you need to add by calculation and the sum by reversing order. So these sums you need to try to practice. So what is it? Uh, from page 26, you should try to practice the three means that is. Uh, um, reverse add the following and find the successor. So try to practice the three means. So coming to 
the questions here i will just write some of the questions for you uh, how the question uh, may appear so first it may uh, we can say that uh, by actual calculation you need to prove the same that is the uh, proof we can give some of the questions like 32 plus 45 and coming to the next question 29 plus 39 so i may change the numbers okay you need to uh, notice that we can, uh, the uh, teachers can change the numbers so you need to write properly so by actual calculation you should prove next to add the following when we add something with zero what will be the answer if you add something with zero you will get the same number as your answer so so try to practice addition with zero and even the successors what do you mean by the successors yes so the next number is called to be the successor so successors of the given numbers like 25 as you given in your textbook b 39 and so try to find the successors of these numbers and you need to find so how to find the successor you should say add 1 that is 26 39 how to find that is 40 so 40 is a successor here 26 is the successor so coming i uh, hope so you have followed the addition part properly so just a revision what we have studied so try to practice only two sums from the following so these are not the ones which will come for exam i may change the numbers let's come to the subtraction so in subtraction we have so let's see from subtraction from subtraction we have here to find the predecessor and we even we need to find uh, by subtracting from zero so from page 39 you can notice that we need to subtract from zero and find the predecessor so you know subtract from zero how we need to subtract from zero so subtract from zero any number you take out from zero what will be the answer the same number you will get as the answer so any number so like that we can give any numbers for you so you need to subtract with zero and tell what is the answer next comes the predecessor what is the meaning of predecessor if successor you should add one in predecessor what you should do in predecessor you should minus 1 so if i give you the question 19 find the predecessor of 19 what do you need to do you should write 19 minus 1 is 18 so 18 becomes the predecessor of 19 so this is the way you should practice the revision from the addition and the subtraction chapter